from the iconic moments featured in the game's second part to possible new characters, The Last of Us Season 2 will be jam-packed. Here's everything you need to know. Honestly, the first season already has me on the edge of my seat in every episode. This leads me to the biggest question. When will the second season premiere? I mean, steady on guys. After all, the first season is still on the air. That means we're a long way off the planned release dates for the next one. For now, let's just celebrate the fact that the show got renewed for another season. Okay, this actually doesn't come as a big surprise. That's because the season premiere broke viewership records. It's actually HBO's second biggest premiere after House of the Dragon. What's amazing is the fact that the viewership has continued to increase with every passing episode. No wonder the show was renewed for a second season with just two episodes in. As far as the release date is concerned, there hasn't been any update, even on the production. Besides this, the first season still has three episodes left. The good thing is that filming might not take as long as the first one because they already have the sets. Still, I think a one and a half year gap in between can be expected. Now that I've addressed the concerns about the release date, it's time to shift focus on the plot. I don't need to remind you how we're still in the dark about how much the game franchise will be covered in the first season, but from what I've seen so far, it looks like the writers are sticking with much of the first game. That means season 2 will most likely be based on The Last of Us Part 2. Yes, that's the follow-up to the first game and was released in 2020. What's more, the show's creator, Craig Mazin, has also seemingly confirmed this news. He talked about his plans, saying that their ambition is to focus on the story that already exists. Clearly, he doesn't have any intentions to expand into this world beyond that. Okay, so I don't want to give too much of Part 2's story. It takes place five years after the events of the first game, and I have some good news for Ellie's fans. Rejoice as she's the major focus of the gameplay here. In addition, we're introduced to a number of new characters, including Abby. The thing about Abby is that she's actually a controversial figure in the game. She starts out as a villain. But trust me, you'll understand her more once you get to know the true depth of her story and her motivations. There's no doubt that the first season is already doing an excellent job of introducing the characters. I just can't wait to see how they adapt the story in the next season. I don't know about you, but this is already giving me goosebumps. Hold on, because there's an even more exciting thing that I'm going to mention next. The first season is already dropping major teases for the second season. Yes, I'm not joking. If you're just like, you might have missed on it, let's go through them together. The latest episode 6 takes us to the city of Jackson, Wyoming. We are once again reunited with Joel's brother, Tommy, and his wife, Maria. Interestingly, there's also a first glimpse at a handful of new characters. You don't understand merely getting a look at Jackson here is a pretty big tease. That's because the city isn't really featured in the first game. It means that some of the characters will return down the road in the upcoming season. Besides seeing the town, there was also a major hint at an important character that should appear next. Although it was vaguely shown, Episode 6 features a young girl around Ellie's age, and she seems to have an interest in her. I know the show doesn't make her name clear, but there's a high chance that it could be Dina. If you didn't know, she's someone who later becomes Ellie's partner in Part 2 of the game. That's all for the major hints. But I'm sure that you're also unaware of a possible twist in the story. The second season might be a two-parter. Honestly, this actually looks possible. Hear me out. The first season has covered much of the original game's story so far, not to mention they've also made some divergences from the source material to make the universe feel more lived in. Surprisingly, I think that things are going to change for the next one. In a recent interview, co-showrunner Neil Druckmann has confirmed that the story will be based on part two of the game but he's also indicated that it probably wouldn't be a one-and-done affair. 
Clearly, it's more than a season's worth of television for sure. It's definitely going to be a big animal to take apart, because the plot here is more complicated and even bigger than in the first game. The thing it is has several time jumps throughout the story. Besides this, it consists of a more expansive cast than the first one, so it doesn't come as a surprise that the showrunners might consider dividing it into two seasons. To begin with, the game's whole plot is structured like a TV show. This means there are many possibilities in store for Season 2. Now that you know of a possible expansion in this universe, there's one thing the fans want the writers to expand on more, and that's Ellie and Abby's backstories. I've already mentioned that they're the major focus of Part 2. From what I know, there are certain aspects that should be expanded on in the next installation. For instance, the Seraphites. The religious cult plays a major role in both Abby and Ellie's story. I know we get to learn more about them through Abby's journey, still Ellie encounters them in different events. The game writers have already talked about certain cut elements in the game. One of them is Ellie exploring the Seraphites island. We get to see it near the end of the game through Lev, Abby, and Yara's eyes. The showrunners can possibly expand on this plot by showing flashbacks to better understand the Seraphites' prophet. So far, he's only been teased through various artistic depictions spread throughout Seattle. If you ask me, I think it could be a great setup to introduce Lev and Yara. Abby actually runs into these two young Seraphites later in the story. Possibly, their meeting could take place somewhere by the end of the second season but expanding on the Seraphites plot will make it even more impactful. Besides this, there have been a couple of mentions of Ellie's ex-girlfriend, Kat. It could be another plot line for the writers to dive deeper into. I know the plot might sound complicated so far, well, that's the beauty of it. You need to prepare yourself for the wild ride ahead, because the second season narrative is going to be much more complex. Undoubtedly, the original game and its sequel feel like generations apart. The first game's story is pretty easier to follow, but things get complicated with the second part. After all, there's an introduction of several new characters with an in-depth exploration of their stories, and unlike the first part, the second one makes use of flashbacks as a narrative-driven tool. In addition, these are told from Ellie's point of view. In this way, we get a better understanding of her and Joel's fractured relationship. I mean, one of the best aspects of the show so far has been its ability to expand on the ideas of Part 1, and I totally see the writers following this path for the upcoming seasons as well. That's all you needed to know about The Last of Us Season 2.